Hi YouTube, this is Kevlar Head 113 again. Um, just wanted to make a uh, updated loadout video, um, showing all the crap that I got for Christmas, um, and like my updated loadout. Um, I did go and play with this December 28th. Um, out, a uh, bunch of my uh, buddies at their field. Uh, there's no fields around me. I'm uh, Northern Michigan. I would go down and play Kalamazoo, but it's just too far away uh, for me to get down there. It's like five hours away from where I'm at, so I can't get down there to play. Um, so this is just my loadout for recreational games at my buddy's field. Um, start out with the gun, uh, GMP, M4, RAS, uh, M4 stop mod. Um, it's GMP Pro Kit, uh, Matrix Crane Stock, Buffer Tube, Matrix, um, Sling Mount, Run Elite Force 140 round mid caps. I had an optic on here, I took it off, it got shot out. Um, just run iron sights. And then I picked up an aftermarket rail system. This is the GMP uh, RIS uh, unit. I got it from Evike for like 56 bucks. It was on sale. Um, so, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's rock solid. I just have some rail covers on it. Uh, JG barrel extension, so I have a full length M4 barrel in it now. Um, so, yeah, so here's the rifle. Um, and then, start out, when it comes to my vest, I have a. Uh, a uh, camelback. Um, normally I run it in this pouch back here, um, but I'd like to take it off if I need to, so I just put it in this, see how I like it, and just uh, carry it in the actual camelback carrier. Uh, I'll get back up now. My, my head might be cut off, but just have to deal with it. Um, just have my helmet on top, ESS, uh, Forgot, I think I forgot what goggles they are. Um, just regular ESS goggles. Uh, I have goggle retainer straps, uh, tricolor desert helmet cover, cat eye band. And yeah. On my vest, this is the Banshee rifle plate carrier. What I always run. Um, I'll get a little bit closer here so it kind of will show up better. Um, it's what I always run. Uh, just have the mission spec sling. Just have a Grimlock right here. Sometimes I put my sling through it, just so it kind of stays right there. Um, I put some Condor shoulder pads from a QRPC. I run three Elite Force 140 round mags and a Condor triple mag pouch, and then I run uh, two. Uh, no, I forgot what brand, but they're high caps. Just run two high caps and a pouch right here. Normally I have a utility pouch right here or down on my belt, um, but I just didn't put it on right now. Couldn't find my belt. Um, normally I will run a sidearm uh, SIG P226 by KJW, but I uh, I bought a new fill valve uh, with some of my Christmas money, uh, and it got here. I put the new fill valve in, and then I put it up to my ear to hear if it was leaking and the thread stripped out of the magazine base plate and the fill valve shot across the room and right when I moved it away from my head. So I was pretty lucky there. Um, it put a big dent in my wall, or uh, put a big, big hole in my uh, drywall, so it's pretty lucky there. Um, but And then I just run DCUs, um, or I think DCUs, uh, yeah. Uh, normally I run the DCU pants, I just didn't feel like putting them on right now. I just run uh, no name black tactical boots. Uh, I forgot where I got them. But. And uh, normally I run a uh, neck wrap. Um, couldn't find that. And normally I run gloves. Um, I found one of the gloves, I just couldn't find the others. Just, uh, I got them from my cousin. He was issued them in the military. Um, but he never wore them. He bought his own pair or he got issued a different pair so like hard knuckles so I they're like fire resistant goat skin gloves or whatever so 
Um, sorry, this is kind of long. Um, yeah, that's just my improved setup. Played with this, it worked fine for me. Um, I do have a story about the uh, gun, though. Um, like I said, this is a GMP Pro Kit. I don't know if it's going to be like this for regular GMPs, um, but I run the Elite Force mags, and these mags are a little bit smaller than regular high caps. I noticed um, I had to put a bunch of tape in the mag well to hold it in. In my old JG body um, on my JG M4, these Elite Force mags do the same thing. Um, next time, I am going to go with the Mag brand mid caps. Um, I just went with these because I could get six for like 45 bucks. Um, would have been the same price for five mag brands. But these Elite Force, I tried to take the base plate off because they were jamming. And on a couple of them, it cracked the like, little base plate at the bottom. And on one of them, it completely broke the whole base plate. Base plate broke in half. The spring went flying across the room, so I'm down one mid cap now. So for the same price, could have got better mags. So next time I will be going with mag brand. Um, but these fine or feed pretty well. Um, but moving back onto the gun, for most of the day I was playing, and I got this for Christmas. And even in the morning I went out to shoot it, and I was noticing the same thing. I thought I was just because how cold it was out. The battery was draining pretty quickly. Um, like not even a whole mid or high cap I could get out of it and it would die. Um, I could get maybe half of a mid cap, uh, so about 70 rounds, and then the rate of fire would drop a l like really bad. Just like pop, 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 compared to like the 20 rounds a second that this gun gets, uh, like 18 to 20 with a uh, 9.6. Um, but after the whole day of play, I was like, okay, I gotta fix this. I gotta find out what's wrong. I went, I was like, okay, there might be something wrong. Uh, with the motor. I take the motor off, base plate off the motor grip and one of the connections, it came loose from the factory like this. One of the connections on the motor, like the GMPs have screws on the bottom to hold the connectors on, but one of the screws is loose, um, or both of them were actually. I just tighten those up and then the rate of fire was back up to where it's supposed to be and the battery lasted a uh, pretty long time. So. I wish I would have found that out at the beginning of the day. Uh, I played the whole day, basically semi-auto. Um, like, in one game, I would get maybe one mid-cap out of it. And that was basically all I could get. Uh, so I fixed that. So uh, probably once it becomes warmer out, probably within a, probably about a month, I'll head back out and play again and see if it works for me. But it's a pretty nice gun. Um, yeah. Um, one thing is, I would not recommend this front end kit that I got for it um, from the Pro Kit. Uh, got it from Evike, the Matrix uh, CQBR front end kit. I believe it is. Um, first of all, the barrel is just so short, you can't get very good range out of it. I didn't have a tight bore or anything in it. I just used an old barrel that I had uh, left over as like a 6.05 millimeter barrel. I put that in there. I wasn't getting very good range with it. Um, at the game that I was playing, there was this one where this guy, he was hiding behind a snowbank piled up. And uh, I had to angle my gun up like this to lob BBs over the snowbank to actually get them. I was only about 100 feet away. And it was just really inaccurate. Um, so I switched out to a 604 uh, millimeter barrel and a full length barrel. So. Um, that fixed the problem, but also this front sight, uh, really hard to get centered. Like most time it's off the side because the cut, like it doesn't have normal pins holding the front sight on. It has Allen screws. So you have to tighten the screws down to hold it in place compared to a regular where there's pins going through and then that holds the front sight in place. Um, then also when I got it, the, uh, Pin right here that holds the mock gas tube in place fell out. It was a lot. It was way too small for the um, hole that was drilled. So I had to use some epoxy to put that back in. Um, gas tube's fine. The rail system that it came with sucks. Um, it's way too 
uh, like it's like the Chinese replica style where it just has the one screw up here. It doesn't have the real steel style back here. The number markings are off. The color's wrong. Uh, like the rivets that hold the heat sink plate in, paint was already chipping off. The heat uh, sink plate was silver instead of black. Well, it's silver on the inside like it's supposed to be, but the outside was black or silver. Yeah, the outside was silver. The heat sink plate was uneven where it was riveted in. Um, so that made it so I couldn't get it to go, like couldn't get it to close up all the way. So I had to take a pair of wire snips and clip off the top of one of them, one of the sides, to get it to fit. Um, the delta ring, like the barrel nut's fine, but the delta ring itself um, is way too big um, for the barrel nut, so it moves around way too much. The handguard cap uh, is really thin metal. It bent really easily. Wouldn't hold it in place. Uh, the rail covers that it came with sucked way too tight. I had to take a Dremel and take some material out of it to get it to fit. Um, let me make sure it's still recording. Yeah, it is. Okay. Sorry about this being so long. Um, yeah, I had to take a Dremel to get the rail covers to fit. Um, and... The bottom rail was really loose, right out of the factory, um, and the top rail was too. That way, that's why in my uh, M4 video that I did the GMP M4 stop mod, I had my red dot in between the rail and the upper receiver to try to brace it. But the bottom was really loose. Um, yeah, uh, so I had to put a bunch of tape uh, on there to try to get it to hold in place. Even when I did that, it was still really loose. Um, sorry about that, that was my phone. Um, still really loose. So, I wouldn't recommend getting it. The only reason why I got it was because I thought it was, oh, it's such a great deal. Only like 55 bucks for rail system and complete front end kit, barrel, barrel cap, barrel nut, everything. Uh, and I was wrong. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting it. 55 bucks seems like a steal, but for the same price, for just a little bit more, um, I ended up spending another 56 bucks to get a, uh, new rail system because the rail system that came with sucked. Really soft pot metal. I mean, it, I took my knife, cause I zip tied it to try to keep it tight. It didn't work, so I took my knife and just kind of like pried up with it. Like put the back end of the knife in one of the grooves and pried up. And it completely, uh, took a bunch of material out of the, uh, rail. It dented it like crazy, so... I wouldn't recommend getting it. I would just, I was going to go with the GMP front end kit um, or GMP barrel assembly for like 35 bucks, but they were out of stock with it sadly. So uh, by probably for Christmas again, I'm gonna build another custom gun. And uh, yeah, so I might build another M4, I don't know. Um, Probably another style M4, but I would. I'm just gonna go uh, next time with a different front end kit. So, yeah. But yeah, just don't get that front end kit. Ugh, that's a long rant. Um, but yeah. So, sorry about that. How long it was, but it's Kevlar Head Woman Three signing out.